Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. The second Gyeonggi Public Policy Festival, a two-day event for resident participation in policy discussions, was held at the Sangsang campus in Suwon City on October 16th and 17th. A symbol of deliberative democracy, this festival featured on and offline public forums and a Gyeonggi Resident Day celebration, as well as cultural performances. During the policy forums, 15 policy-related topics were discussed at five outdoor booths installed on the Sangsang campus grounds. These topics included the provision of sanitary pads to female youths, issues and tasks pertaining to food service businesses during the COVID-19 pandemic, and the creation of Gyeonggi Regional Economic Circle Systems. After the enforcement of Korea's first app-based service worker labor support ordinance, the Gyeonggi Provincial Administration and the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly jointly hosted a forum on app-based delivery workers on October 22nd. The objective of this forum was to safeguard the rights of app-based service workers who are neglected in terms of labor protection and to identify local policies that can improve their labor conditions. Hosted by Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly Economy and Labor Committee Chairperson Kim Young-hae, this forum saw suggestions and discussions on diverse policy ideas. On October 15th, the 4th Pangyu Autonomous Mobility Show opened for a three-day run, during which a wide range of autonomous mobility technologies and services were showcased. Sponsored by Gyeonggi Province and jointly hosted by the Korea International Exhibition Center, or Kintex, and the Advanced Institute of Convergence Technology, this show saw the introduction of autonomous mobility technologies and products that can accommodate contactless services. Held through to October 17th at a number of locations in Pangyo Techno Valley, the show also featured various other events such as Gyeonggi Zero Shuttle Public Test Rides and the Delivery Mobility Idea Contest. The Gyeonggi Provincial Administration recently underwent annual inspections by the Administration and Safety Committee and Land and Transportation Committee of the Korean National Assembly. During the inspection, Gyeonggi's basic housing policies and used car market improvements were highlighted and praised. Inspecting committee members commended the measures taken by the province to eradicate illegal practices in the used car market, such as fake sale listings. Concurrently, provincial basic housing policies, core policies propelled by Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung, drew keen interest. During the inspection, Gyeonggi's major policies received a generally positive recognition from the committee members. In order to resolve issues regarding the Yongin Semiconductor Cluster Development Project, a cooperation committee was launched jointly by Gyeonggi Province, the cities of Yongin, Ansung, and Pyeongtaek, and the SK Construction and Engineering Company. Through this committee, the participating organizations will seek to proactively resolve issues stemming from this development project through dialogue. This large-scale industrial complex development project, which is slated for completion in 2023 in Yongin City, has fueled local resident demand for measures to guard against possible water and air contamination in adjacent areas. From October 21st to 23rd, G Fair Korea, the largest SME product fair in the nation, was held at the Korea International Exhibition Center, or Kintex, in a non-contact format. Marking its 23rd occasion, the event this year saw the participation of over 400 domestic and international enterprises, as well as 450 buyers from more than 40 nations. Unlike normal occasions, this year's G Fair Korea was organized in a contactless format with business consultations taking place via online video systems. The online exhibition will continue until November 30th. Gyeonggi Province, the Gyeonggi branch of the Korea Association Against Drug Abuse, and the Gyeonggi Do Pharmaceutical Association joined together in designating pharmacies that will help with the early identification and treatment of drug dependency and the prevention of drug addiction. 
Referred to as Magumi Pharmacies, 66 pharmacies in 10 cities of the province have been designated to date and commenced participation in related efforts from October 12th. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.